So now just to bring everybody up to speed, just to get everybody up to speed, Drip X was something that was a surprise and a shock to the Drip Network community. From the creators of Pulse Drip, from the creators of the Kitchen Sink, the Kitchen Sink dot gg um is a platform let me go to kitchen sink real quick kitchen sink dot gg was something created by the the pulse drip devs right and you know this particular dev team they have several different projects over the course of time and um you know they always was bullish on drip and they, you know, made uh, great gains on Drip. They see the power in Drip. You know, um, Drip is a very powerful community-driven project. And that's something that I like to remind people of every day. That we can put our minds and brains and power together utilizing Drip. And then be able to, you know, achieve what we want to achieve, right? Get the people we want together and continue to add value to Drip. And Drip now being a deflationary asset. On January 19th, there won't be any more inflation in Drip now. That excludes people who claim later. So if there's claims that come after January 19th, there is potential for a little bit more inflation. But generally speaking, the mass amount of inflation is going to be over around January 19th. So things like the kitchen sink. Things like Rap Drip, adding additional utility and cross-chain capabilities to Drip are, you know, bullish uh, additions to the Drip network ecosystem. So now they introduced Kitchen Sink and they introduced, I mean, uh, Drip X. So some of the alpha that we were able to get from Dr Drip X was the inclusion of rap drip now let me tell you first and foremost why that's bullish being able to add use case to rap drip is a bullish and game changing uh movement for drip network community why ray is it better for them to use rap drip versus using regular drip and whatever it is that they're doing so now there's pros and cons to both but Ideally, what makes it more bullish with Rap Drip is that there's more flexibility because of the transfer taxes that's associated with Drip. But Ray, don't we want taxes? Don't we want X, Y, and Z? Remember, and I say this almost every week when I talk about Drip, you can add taxes in different places inside the protocol, but then having the freedom to be able to move your drip without taxes around is bullish. So we can put whatever taxes we want inside the protocol. So now also keep in mind when it comes to regular drip, we have limited options and flexibility of what we can do. And of course, Forex is not even looking this way in regard to, you know, development of what the community is making. He's busy building black cube finance and all the things that he wants to do on that end so when it comes to rap drip the developers of rap drip are the developers of ai drip and they are reachable right we can talk to them anytime and they can make any adjustments that we need and they're also an extra set of dev eyes that can watch and look and make sure that everything is going the way it's supposed to go extra hands on deck so there's a perk and benefit on multiple levels to utilize rap drip over regular drip when it comes to uh, doing whatever it is that we have to do with uh, drip X. So those are some key areas. Also, of course, rap drip has cross chain capability. Rap drip also has a lower supply. How does rap drip have a lower supply, right? Rap Drip has a lower supply because you can only create Rap Drip by converting your regular drip into Rap Drip by wrapping it. So there's never going to be a, 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 a day where Rap Drip is going to be greater supply than regular drip. It's always going to be less. 
So that is going to be bullish because it's going to allow for, you know, more volatile price action for Rap Drip. When we went to Pulse Chain, Rap Drip went all the way up to a dollar. It didn't have a lot of liquidity, but it was able to pump. Why? Because there's a low supply and there was enough liquidity to take it to a dollar. So, you know, Rap Drip has a lot of capabilities to be able to have great price action. But Ray, how does that benefit regular Drip? Because people are going to be arbitraging between regular Drip and Rap Drip. And I'm laying down the foundation so that way everybody understands what's going on and why the alpha that I'm going to bring to you guys or, you know, the rumor speculation, but the alpha, why this is going to be bullish, right? In general. So now remember if rap drip goes to 10 cents and regular drip is three cents, there's an opportunity for you to take your drip, OG drip, convert it, wrap it into rap drip and sell into rap drip. You're going to be able to make a profit there, whatever the profit margins are, and, um, you know, benefit from that price action. So what's that going to make people do? It's going to make people want to buy regular drip, take it, wrap it, and sell it into wrap drip. That's the only way you can take advantage of the arbitrage. Of course, if you have remaining drip, you can convert it and sell it into wrap drip. But ultimately, every time that there's a conversion of somebody wrapping drip, that's a 10% tax. So every time somebody goes from OG drip to wrap drip, 10% tax. And when they go back, that's a 10% tax also. But keep in mind, you can also buy wrap drip and sell wrap drip. You could also do that. You could buy directly into wrap drip and sell into wrap drip. So having these, having that opportunity to go from OG drip to wrap drip and taking advantage of arbitrage is going to bring the price up of OG drip. And it's also going to lower the supply, the circulating supply of OG drip. Remember, you, we can have this $200 million, 200 million uh, token supply of OG drip. But what really matters is circulating supply of drip the drip that's liquid and out and about and the liquidity that's what matters the most after january 19 what we're going to start to see is the tax vault filling up with tokens and as that starts filling up with tokens that means that the circulating supply is going to be dwindling everybody every time somebody sells there's a 10 percent tax those tokens will be going into that tax vault Every time somebody wraps drip, that's a 10% tax. Those tokens will be going into the tax vault. The greater that we create this, the, the greater that we make this tax vault, the lower the circulating supply, the greater we make this liquidity from all of this arbitrage and adding value to wrap drip and price going up on wrap drip side, the better it's going to be for OG drip. That's how we're going to get this supply up. I mean, that's how we're going to get the price up of OG drip. We're going to shrink this supply. So now, Ray, what is this? So I, we get the point of wrap drip. We get the point of it having a lower supply because it only is created through people um, wrapping OG drip. So, you know, it's going to be easier to pump, right? <clears throat> oh, final thing. Wrap drip is also on PancakeSwap V3. And that's another advantage of wrap drip. Real quick. <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys a master a master uh, class right now. So now, PancakeSwap V2 versus PancakeSwap V3. PancakeSwap V2, you put 50% of a token value on one side of a liquidity pair and 50% of another, uh, another um 50% value uh, on the other side to make a liquidity pair on PancakeSwap V2. PancakeSwap V3 is a little different. PancakeSwap V3 takes X amount on one side and X amount on another side, but you have to set a range. So now when you're setting this range, you're telling the contract that you are expecting the assets to trade within these price ranges 
And the tighter that you make that range, the more yield you're going to earn from it being within that range. So with wrap drip, we have the capability to do this. We have the capability <clears throat> to earn via PancakeSwap V3. So now this alpha that I'm going to be revealing today from the development team of wrap, I mean, um, Titan X, I mean, Drip X, <laughs> right? From the development team of Drip X, wrap drip being a V3 token is critical, critical, critical in order for this alpha that I'm going to drop to work. Okay. And that's something that you have to understand. If it would, if wrap drip was on V2, like if we use OG drip, it would be a shell of what we could, you know, make this protocol be. But since wrap drip is on V3, this is going to allow, you know, us to be able to reach the potential that we wanted to hit. So this alpha of drip X chat, are we in the building? Chat. All right, we here. So this alpha that we're going to be dropping right now, of course, for people who are in the loop, it's pretty obvious, but not only am I going to explain, you know, or, 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 or release this alpha, but also I'm going to explain how bullish this is and the capability, you know, that we can have for uh, what we got in store, you know, for drip. We got to put the music. So ladies and gentlemen, today's bullish alpha what the naysayers the haters backbiters backstabbers are fearing ladies and gentlemen drip x is going to be inspired by titan x titan x Titan X. Now, of course, these are two totally different protocols. They're going to have their own success and they're on their own journeys. But utilizing one of the greatest, most bullish DeFi communities, the same community that bought and burned drip the same community that was here in the last bull run that now has a deflationary token supply and taking that deflationary token and pairing it up with drip x creating multiple avenues of opportunity different type of game theory on a cheaper blockchain. This right now is the beginning of a revolution for the Drip Network community. Drip X is taking inspiration from Titan X for its protocol, utilizing the wrap drip token, a deflationary token. On Pancake Swap V3, one of the highest trading volume uh, 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 dexes that there is in crypto. Because guys, let's go to the deets, let's go to the facts. Titan X success, of course, comes from it being on Ethereum, being on Uniswap, being on one of the most traded dexes that there is in crypto. But when we look at the top DEXs that there is in the space, after Uniswap, who do you think of? You think of PancakeSwap. And the millions and millions and even how much, hold on, since we already, we were, 
We were literally looking at the tools today. So let's go to one of the tools that we discussed. Let's look at DeFi Llama. So now let's go to DEXs. Let's go to DEXs. Hmm. All right, either way, we got Uniswap, and then the next DEX is PancakeSwap. And when we're talking about volume, 97 million 24-hour uh, token volume, 222 million dollars in fees, right? So we're talking about one of the leading DEXs that there is in crypto. After Uniswap comes PancakeSwap. So having, you know, major capital, you know, um, available on PancakeSwap is going to bring attention to DripX and its mechanics. Now, of course, there's deeper detail because... The developers of Drip X not only do they have, you know, um, not only do they have uh, uh, something to look at with Titan X, but they get to see, you know, the the pros and the cons of what Titan X is doing. They get to step back, they get to see what's working and what doesn't work, right? But even though Titan X is working from top to bottom as far as gains, but what could be put in place? What could be better? What could be adjusted, etc. And of course, a lot of us in the community, we're already diving deep into Titan X, so we have a lot of input. We have a lot of things that we can put in. Now, this is not going to take away anything from Titan X. Titan X is going to do its thing, and Titan X already has a first mover advantage. Titan X also has, you know, millions in payout cycles. So that's the key. Ray, why is the 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 um why is the a uh, uh, Paul Strip team why is a kitchen sink team? Why is a development team looking at Titan X specifically? Because Titan X has been able to do some monstrous numbers, okay? So now I'm going to show you some numbers that Titan X has done. So far on mining, $102 million in 70 days has been spent on mining. This is not just, you know, all in the whole protocol. We're talking about in just mining. You have staking, you have adding liquidity, right? So in just mining, we're talking about $102 million in volume. As far as what has been bought and burned, we're talking about $42 million has been bought and burned in Titan X. That's $1.4 million just today. Just today that they have burned. So Titan X has this stickiness, this flow that people are aping into it, cashing out and wanting to go back into it because of these gains. Now, we're not going to say that we're going to do the same kind of volume as them. But understand this. Titan X has 12,000 users. The Drip Network community has 160,000 users. But Ray, while at this and this and that, I don't care what you got to say. We have tens of thousands of community members. So now we have this large engaged community and plenty of people who said, damn, I wish I was in Titan X on day one. Damn, I feel late. And they're going to see another opportunity over here with Drip X, right? And also, we have the community of people who say, damn, it's on Ethereum. I don't want to pay X, Y, and Z gas, even though, in my opinion, the gas ain't that serious. But now you can go on Binance Smart Chain and participate you know, in something that's inspired by Titan X. So this is the reason why, um, you know, the development team chose to choose this is because of these mechanics are very bullish, right? And then adding the game theory of putting wrap drip 
with the liquidity. Remember, this is going to be the liquidity pair. It's going to be Wrap Drip and Titan X. I mean, and Drip X. So we're going to have on one side a deflationary token. There's going to be, there's a whole game theory on this side. And then you have the mechanics of, you know, what is being inspired from Titan X. So keep in mind, people are aping, taking profit, and then aping again, right? People are continuing to ape. They get their profits and they put they go back in. And the more of these transactions that we're making and people coming in and out, taking profits and doing this and that and the third, you know what that's going to do? That's going to allow for more transactions. And if we allow for more transactions and more volatility, there's going to be more arbitrage for OG drip and wrap drip. And if there's more arbitrage between OG drip and wrap drip, that means there's going to be more taxes. And with more taxes, that means that we're going to be lowering the circulating supply. And the more that we lower the circulating supply, the better our price action is going to be when we increase our liquidity. Remember, Titan X has a daily buy and burn mechanic. So these buy and burn mechanics are going to be instituted into Drip X. Imagine if there was a daily buy and burn of wrap drip and, and drip X. Now, of course, you know, we're not going to expect to do these incredible numbers that Titan X is doing. But even if we get a fraction of what they're doing, even if we get a fraction of a fraction of what they're doing, it's going to be bullish. And we get to have the foresight of seeing 70 days plus in to what it is that they're doing to say, okay, this could be done like this. This could be done like that. This could be adjusted so that way it could benefit drip specifically. And all of this is extremely bullish, but the key is the V3. Because when we add this buy and burn mechanic, to the V3 of these token pairs, because it's going to be a couple of different, there's going to be a lot of, um, with the buy and burn, that allows for fees to be generated within those token pairs. Remember, we were just talking about, we were just talking about V3 and how it works. So if we create, you know, if we create this uh, 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 constant buy and burn, we create these fees within these token pairs, that's going to be higher APR for the token pairs. That creates more of an incentive for people to add liquidity. We add more liquidity, right? We lower the circulating supply, price go up. That's it. So this is a very bullish experiment. This is a very bullish opportunity. And I suggest everyone who's bullish on this opportunity to get into Titan X, to study what's going on, to understand how that game theory works. And then you get to be part of a fair launch in the beginning. All of us together. Nobody's going to have an upper hand opportunity because it, the way that this starts, it starts from the ground. Everybody's going to have to put in their capital in order to participate, period. And we all get to start at square one. 